Namaste, all water signs. This is Tefnut Light with your weekly goddess element reading. I hope you're doing really well. This is a new series I've just started. It's going to be a weekly goddess oracle reading based on the element you are in your sun sign, rising, or your moon. So check all three if you want to, or if you have more of a sign in your chart in the other houses and other planets, do go check that out as well. Again, before I get started, I wanted to let everyone know I'm having that special for Halloween for Samhain for um, all the way to November 1st on all my hour sessions. So go check that link out. It ends November 1st. And I'm very excited to offer it. It is the best time to get a reading, a Reiki session, or intuitive meditation healing. So let's get started on your weekly goddess oracle elemental reading. This is very exciting. I'm really enjoying doing these. So thank you for your support and your love. And I'm sending you much love and blessings from Bali. So this is for all the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have that full moon coming up tomorrow. It's very exciting in the sign of Taurus. So there's some good energy. So it's Earth, which is um, the element that is like connected to you. And for Scorpio, it's the opposite. So it's the partner sign. So whatever you have in Earth or water, let's just see what's going on. So this first reading is going to be for the beautiful water goddess or god of cancer. And let's see, this is for the week, October 26, 2015. Okay. So for beautiful cancer, which goddess would like to show up today or this whole week? And happy Halloween, happy Samhain, however you celebrate October, it's a beautiful, beautiful month and we are awakening more and more to ourselves. Okay, and I hope you are doing that too. This is the card that wants to come up, and this is Shakti. So Shakti has to do with the feminine divine energy. It's actually one of the major goddesses on an energetic level. She is creation, so to say. She is that, Shiva and Shakti. The Shakti is the feminine divine energy of flow, and Shiva, which is the masculine part of Shakti, is the container that holds to create all creation. So Shakti is everything artistic, the air, the movement. So Shakti is for you, beautiful Cancer, mothering Cancer. Uh, be filled with divine energy. Use it to move forward in your life. Sorry about that. Exactly. The dog is telling you that. Move forward with that energy. It's divine energy. So be filled with divine energy. Use it to move forward in your life. Shakti. So it's about movement for you right now, Cancer. So movement and emotions, movement and spirit. And it's beautiful because there's this full moon in an earth sign that is one of your um, elemental, I want to say, um, opposites, but is also a, a part that bring aids to you in your creation, I want to say, aids to you in creating what you want to create. So I actually received a message last night from a fellow Cancer. I want to say hello and welcome to your little being. And they said they just had a little baby. So yay, if you created something in terms of giving birth or some movement in your life, whether it be creation or a new life or so to say a new project, the movement of this is wonderful. And I wanted to announce that because creation is life and life is creation. And part of that is coming into this world. And another part of that, and so to say the Halloween aspect is the, the being, being reborn. So you might be reborn into movement right now, Cancer. And Scorpio is the energy of, being, of rebirth, death, and sex. So whatever your, your movement is right now, whatever your flow or your dance in life, looks like there's a lot going on for you right now. And there's divine energy in all that aspect. So you could be juggling lots of different things. But remember, if you're a female or a man, tap into your divine Shakti energy. Movement. So dancing to some beautiful music or being creative. Just put yourself out there and divine flow will happen and everything will happen in the right divine timing. So it's divine timing and divine energy. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with lots of things that are going on in your life, like you have many hands like Shakti right here, you have um, eight hands or more, 10 actually, just remember it's about divine flow 
and divine timing and everything will happen in the right timing for you. So trust the energy, Cancer. That is amazing. There's a lot of movement happening in your life this week and coming up into November as well. So check in with that energy wherever you're at and all will be well. So movement. So go to the gym. If you don't like going to the gym, go do some yoga. Get yourself moving and flowing again in life. And I know you have the beautiful divine watery flow that you are, the mothering, nurturing essence. So, and if you like more info on that, do go check out um, the reading section and I can help you out there. Okay, let's get on to beautiful Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday week or it's your birthday month, um, whatever, wherever you may be at in your life, you're having your solar return. Very powerful time. Very, very powerful time. And you're also having a full moon tomorrow in your opposite sign of your partner's sign of Taurus. So definitely check in with yourself how you're feeling. You could feel like vitality boost or you could also be feeling like this big rebirth, like, whoa, like you just come over this huge... I want to say wave and right now it's really about tapping in to who you truly are your true potential giving out to the world and being reborn fully and loving yourself through every step of the way so trust that energy i'm going to pull you a divine goddess for you whether you be a man or a woman and let's see for you divine water goddess this is for the week october 26 2015 so you might be feeling quite a major shift in that, um, connected to the energy of Taurus. So that is beauty and harmony and foundations and all that beautiful stuff. So let's tap into that energy for you. But this is a very potent time for you, especially around the time of your solar return and your birthday. So do what serves you. And be there for others as well, but be there for yourself as you are rebirthing right now. And your, the sun is highlighting your aspect of who you are and why you came to this world. Okay, beautiful Scorpio. This is the card that wants to come up for you. Beautiful. This is Maya, the maker. So you're definitely making some beautiful things right now in your life. It says to bloom. Find a way to embrace the magic around you. This is so, this is like springtime. So if you are in this part of the world where I am, I'm in Bali. If you are in Australia or somewhere around the world and you feel like spring is coming, it is a rebirth for you because it's your birthday, whether you be in winter, going into winter season or you're going into well, autumn season and here we're in spring. So Maya is the spring goddess. There is spring coming. There's a rebirth coming for you and it is time to embrace fully who you are, bloom and shine to the world. This means all kinds of projects. So it's abundance, it's harvesting energies, it's planting seeds at the same time. I feel around the new moon, which I know is not right now, the full moon is coming in two weeks. You will feel this energy of reaping that, ener that so to say, what you have planted now is going to bloom. So trusting that energy and knowing that spring is here for you. And Maya is about flow, about water. Actually, some people say it's spring. It's got us a spring. And some people believe that Maya means water. And that is a Sanskrit word as well. So it's flowing energy of spring with water and nature and spring. So spring, which is funny. Spring is also the same word as to spring water. So water is spring. And also spring is nature and earth energies and grass and flowers and trees and you name it. It's like that energy. So follow this energy for you right now. Start making things you enjoy. Embrace the magic. This is a really magical time around Samhain, around Halloween. So really embrace that feminine divine water energy, the essence. So it's time to spring out and be born and bloom from the spring of water or from actual spring or the spring of you and the spring of youth. That's a lot of different things right there. So take whatever resonated on that for you and I send you much love and happy birthday, happy solar return. Okay, now we're gonna go into the beautiful enchanted water sign that all of you are enchanted, I feel. So, in beautiful ways. So Pisces, this is going to be your weekly reading with the goddesses for October 26, 2015. So happy Halloween. I know your plan is still retrograde. 
um, till next month, till the 17th, but that is okay. You're reviewing a lot of different things right now and you're coming together, so to say. You're wrapping up, so to say, that um, retrograde phase. So that's very important. This goddess wanted to come up. Oh, beautiful. So this is Annapurna. And I apologize if you can hear the people downstairs. A harvest awaits you. Enjoy it. So this is the the harvest goddess, the goddess of the harvest. So interesting time. We just had spring for Scorpio and we had divine Shakti energy before that for Cancer. And this is about the harvest. The energy of the harvest is coming to you. So to say, and on the other side of the world, opposite of me, it is going, it is October. It is October here, but I mean, it's fall. And here it's, we're going to spring. So it's wherever you're at, whatever your season you're in, the harvest is coming. Taurus is a harvesting uh, sign, is an earth sign. And water and earth go great together. So just trust that. I feel the full moon is going to bring you a large harvest. It could have to do with abundance. It could have to do with eating a beautiful meal with your family. I feel like things in departments of work related and material things with earth energies are going to be going better for you now. I think you had maybe some little obstacles here and there, but I feel like the harvest is here. It's divinely decorating yourself. It could be being more expressive with fashion, but I really feel as it's red and gold, it is an earth energy. It has to do with passion. So follow your passions when it comes to work because the harvest is there for you now. So a harvest awaits you. Enjoy it. It's the harvest season. It's the harvesting time in October. We come from Libra now to Scorpio. And it's really about maybe more of that wintry feeling for you. Or it could be more of a spring feeling. But in, in essence, the harvest is here now especially with this full moon enjoy the energies enjoy halloween enjoy the harvest that comes to you and allow yourself to receive all that you need and all is there for you and more will come your way so love and light and thank you for watching this beautiful divine watery goddess reading and please do go check your other signs as well. If you would like a personal reading, as these are general readings, my links are below. It is till the 1st of November on all my hour sessions. It is a great time to get a reading as the veil has thinned, especially around Halloween and the end of October for Samhain. Whatever you celebrate, however you celebrate it, have a beautiful, wonderful week and happy full moon in the sign of Taurus. Allow the energies, the harvest, the Shakti, the maker, the spring, however you may see spring with water or um, the natural growth in nature. Allow that to be filling your life with abundance and joy. And I send you love and light from beautiful Ubud, Bali. Namaste. Thank you for watching. See you very soon. Love and light.